Okay, you guys, so I thought I would update you with a positive grooming experience. <gasps> look at this little guy. Look at how cute he is. Doesn't he look beautiful? Oh, this is the best haircut I've ever seen. <gasps> yeah, did you get a new Christmas scarf, Bernie? Did you get a new Christmas scarf? I know I talk in a very annoying voice when I'm around my dog. Anyway, I found a mobile groomer. That's right, a mobile groomer. And I had read a lot of bad reviews, but I got one highly recommended to me by one of my clients. Their dog is elderly and has seizures, and they spoil the heck out of their dog too. So I'm done putting him through that stressful process. And this woman was so amazing. I talked to her for a half an hour on the phone before we even scheduled anything. And don't cry. I just got home from work. So he's, yeah, he was wanting attention, but he looks so cute. I got to get him on film. Yes. You went and got your baby to play with, didn't you? And you brought it up on the bed because that's what we do when mommy comes home. Same routine every day. Mommy comes home from work. Ernie grabs one of his babies and he jumps on the bed and we wrestle. And then he gets a snack. And then he gets dinner. Right, Ernie? Yeah. Anyway, if I can, I'm not techno bleh, technical as you guys know, but the groomer actually sent me a picture of him in her little van when she was done. I got to go inside and see it too. This thing was nice. I mean, it was state-of-the-art grooming and it was so awesome because it was just him no other dogs no whining like you are right now right Ernie yeah and it only took a little over an hour and then right out the front door into his house like right mommy was right next door so we I did that before I went to work today so this lady knows what she's doing she was so careful with him he was so happy and she said you know what my dog's part Dijon he's a pug and a Dijon mix if you didn't know and uh, she, you can tell she's growing out the hair on the top of his head. She said, I really want to grow it out like kind of into a dome shape like you see on Bajans. And then she said they cut his muzzle too short, which I agreed with. I, I also agreed with her. I like it when his head's poofy and kind of round. And then she said, I forgot to ask you, so I didn't want to touch his ears, but I really think we should cut his ears closer to his head too, like a Bichon. And I said, I totally agree. I like it when his ears are short. He looks more like a puppy. He looks really cute. She goes, yeah, I thought they were growing them out. I said, actually, these are short for his ears. For some reason, the groomers always want to leave his ears super long, and they get in his bowl, and they get, like, thin on the end. So I said, this is me asking them to cut it. She goes, wow. So she's like, I can do it right now. I can go do it. I said, no, 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 it's fine. i got to go to work, and you got another client. We'll do it next time. So that's what we're gearing toward, but he already looks so much better, you guys. This is how he's supposed to look. He's happy, except he's whining because mommy's talking and not playing. He doesn't like that at all. We're going to play. We're going to play in just a second, Ernie. I just want to show off your new haircut and your beautiful scarf. Your beautiful Christmas scarf. Yeah. Yeah, your beautiful Christmas scarf. Say bye-bye, everybody. Merry Christmas. I'll try to check in again. I'm so happy now that I'm clean and I have a Christmas scarf. I'm ready to go. Yeah, and we found a great groomer. You weren't limping. No. Oh my God. They held him. It was so cute. Her son runs the business. Well, they run the business together. And he was shaking when they first brought him in because it was, you know, he ran right up to him because he's a very loving dog. But as soon as they went to pick him up, he, he turned around and put his tail down and tried to come back inside. So I helped them get him on the van. And then they were, they were just so sweet. I've never seen groomers so sweet in my life. They were like cuddling him and hugging him and and they just, when they were done, they said, oh my God, he's an angel. We had no problems at all. He was so good. And I said, he's usually good. It's the groomers <laughs> that haven't been good. That's the only time he doesn't cooperate because he knows when there's bad people. But yeah, he did really well. I think he was actually just cold because it was kind of cold out there when I first put him in the van. She said, trust me, when we shut the door and the pet parent goes back inside, they stop it. She goes, they kind of exaggerate a little bit when their parents are there, which I agree with. He does that. Like, he doesn't like when I'm on the phone, obviously. Sometimes I do phone appointments with some clients and he does not like it. Because normally I go to my office, but sometimes I do it at home. He could be dead asleep and as soon as he sees I'm paying attention to somebody else and not him. It's kind of like a cat that comes and lays on your homework or what you're reading. He'll just come in and just start peeping like he is now. Like, eh, 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 eh. yeah. It's okay, Ernie. We're going to say goodbye now so we can play and do our evening routine. You're looking so dang cute. I love it. And I love that you're happy. I'm so happy we found someone that's nice to you and is going to take good care of you like mommy. Okay, say bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Night-night. <laughs>